Hey everyone, Kyle, Roderick here. I've been asked a lot about how to improve flexibility. So what I'm going to do for you guys is show you guys that my entire stretch routine that I usually do before classes, before intense training sessions. And if you do these, if you like any of the stretches that you see, um, go ahead and do so. If you want to follow along, full screen it and do the stretches that I do if you want to. Keep coming back and watching it every time you're going to go stre train or stretch or whatever. And you can just kind of keep following along and either do the entire routine and memorize it or you can just kind of take what you like from it and apply it. If you guys have any tips you guys would like to add, throw them in the description. But all in all, this is my basic stretch routine. Nothing too crazy and intense, but it is kind of fun. So. What I usually do is I start, my legs spread out as far as they can go. I used to start like here. So not everybody can kind of reach forward. So if you can, just focus on getting your legs out as far as they can go. Like that. Keep your knees down flat. Don't let them come up like this. I know some people have the tendency to let them rise. So if you have to, start by having your hands on your quads. Not on your knees, but on your quads. And have your upper body upright and let it, let it fall forward and as it falls forward you'll, fall, you'll, you'll feel tension under here and press down and keep those knees flat if that's easy for you if you already got that part down then reach here get your hands to the ground if you can get your hands down get your elbows down if you can get your elbows down aim to get your forehead to the floor and just kind of breathe as you fall forward and relax After a couple seconds, you're going to switch, and your goal is to kind of, if uh, not everybody can touch their toe, so if you can't touch your toe, start here, and work your way up on the leg, so start grabbing here, and just kind of lean towards that leg, grab here, lean towards that leg, grab here, lean towards, if you can grab your foot, do that, and pull your body against that leg, and you'll feel that tension underneath there, but don't push it too far, just breathe, relax, and hold it. If this is too easy for you still, then what I recommend is taking your arm and going, it goes over to grab behind your foot. The other hand goes inside here and you open. So you're still pulling with this hand to keep your body against your leg. And then same thing other side. So start here and lean. Start here and lean. Keep working your way up. All the way down. If that's too easy, reach through. Also, if you're doing this one the way I think you might be, if you can flex this general region, you'll also feel a stretch in here as well, which is pretty decent. And I usually always go back to the middle, but the last time, instead of reaching forward, what I try to do is have my hands to the side here, and I really rock my hips forward and let your upper body do most of the work. So your hands press against to guide you while your upper body creates weight, and you breathe out as you fall forward. Remember, not everybody can do this, so if you can't do this, then what I recommend is starting as best you can, but overall this would be the ideal goal in the end. And if you do these every day, you'll get just as flexible in time, but it's something you got to be consistent with. After that, I usually go one leg in front, like here, one leg is going to be behind, like so. So this leg isn't going to be close to the crotch, you want to be kind of far out here, like your legs like in a 90 degree angle. Don't lean towards the knee, that's very easy. You want to get that stretch of the butt underneath, so grab your foot and aim to get your chest to your foot without taking your butt off the ground. You just kind of lean towards it. If this is too easy for you here, then let your upper body do more weight and pull it forward. But ideally you're leaning towards your foot and you should feel a nice stretch going along the back side towards your ass. Same thing on the side, so bring that foot up here like a butterfly, bend this knee over, bend it behind, and same thing, not close, but kind of far out, grab the foot, get your chest to that foot without taking your butt off. And that back leg doesn't matter if it's straight or bent, some people kind of have a preference, I just try to keep it bent, but that's just me. And of course, breathe. After that, I go on my knees. Feet flat underneath me, I'm just kind of at an angle. Here with feet flat, hands like this, I'll go forward and I'll press them flat. If you can't get them both flat, then start here, like so, and work your way out. 
And when you feel that tension get to be just around, around that threshold, and you can alternate here and you just kind of hold it and breathe and focus. And then you switch. So instead of going here, now you turn your hands this way, do the same thing here. And when you do this, see how my arms are bent? You want to try to push down where your elbows, the inner bend of your elbows is pointing out in front of you like so. Unless you're double jointed, then they're probably going to wrap around and come back to you. Which would be crazy. After that, I bring one leg out, so I'll curl my toes under. Bring one leg out straight. Not to the side, because the side is easy. This, is, this one's not too bad, but you basically cover this one with the whole stretch. So what this one's going to do for you is you're going to bring it straight like so, and you're going to keep that leg straight, whatever you do. Some people have the tendency of doing this. Try not to do that. Keep that leg straight. Think about getting your belly, your belly to your quad here. If you can't get your chest to your knee, or get your forehead to your shin even, and just kind of reach. If you have to, put pressure just on the quad. Have the other hand kind of reach for here and just kind of lean forward. You want to try and keep these legs as close together as possible, pointing in that forward direction. And just kind of lean. This will really get your hamstrings underneath, which is amazing. And if this isn't too much for you, then you take one hand and press. The other hand can grab the toes and grab literally the ball of your foot and you'll pull back. So not only will you feel it under here, but doing this one will also help you feel it in your calves by pulling on your foot and pulling your toes, I guess, towards you. So as you're leaning, you're stretching your hamstring. As you're pulling, you're stretching your calf. And then same thing other side. So forward on your heel. Keep the legs straight. Focus on leaning as far as you can. When you're able to grab your foot, grab the ball of your foot, lean and pull so you'll feel a stretch of your hamstring and your calf. And of course, breathe. The pain is not always going to be comfortable, but sometimes it is necessary in order to gain flexibility. So don't just push to where you feel the threshold. Maybe go just a tad past it, but don't tear your muscles. Don't be stupid. After that, I usually do this one knee up, one knee down deal. We have one knee up like so, one knee down. This one here is going to be your balance point, so I'll show you at an angle. What you're going to do is have one hand on the knee that's in front. The other hand is going to grab that foot and pull it up against your butt. So you're going to get that heel to your butt. And you want to keep this toe here pushing down for balance. Have your chest upright and rock your hips forward while pulling on this leg. You don't want to go past like that. You don't want to go to the side. It's just unnecessary. Just pull it up. Your goal is to kind of bring your hips forward like you're bringing a cock to the ground or your crotch to the ground so you can feel all of the quad stretching there. And then same thing other side. If you have knee problems, this, this can get interesting. So if you do have knee problems, I recommend taking a pillow and putting it under your knee. Sometimes putting a pillow there will help ease the pain and the tension. So if your knees have issues, that may help. And of course, if pulling it back too far hurts, start small and work your way up. We're focused on just grabbing your foot, but rocking your hips forward. And you want to try not to let this leg go like that to where it leans. Try to get it to where it's more upright and your weight is dropping down. And then you keep your chest up and breathe slow. After that, I do the cobra stretch. So I'll just be here on my stomach. I start with my hands under my shoulders. Keep my feet together, arms, everything. Inhale through your nose. And lift up, press. Now you don't want to go where your shoulders are here. If your shoulders are up like this by your ears, then you're not pressing. You want to literally push against the ground by keeping your hips against the floor. Look up or behind you and breathe out slowly. And as you breathe out, you should feel your back relaxing. Once you run out of air from exhaling, go down. Then I bring them by my sides. Same thing. Inhale. Up. Press and breathe out. And then down again. This time I put my hands just a little bit above my hips and repeat the same thing. Inhale. Up. Press. Then you can go down, bring your hips up and back. And just kind of reach here. 
or what some people like to do is when they're in the cobra stretch, they'll start here, bring your hips up, and go back, trying to keep their hands where they are. You're reaching forward, and you go back so you get your head to touch the ground, and you can kind of roll your shoulders out a little bit. And then, I stand. And once I'm standing, keep my feet together, hands behind my back, keep your legs straight, and bring your arms up. And then you exhale as you let your upper body kind of hang forward and breathe out and relax. Let your upper body do most of the stretching for your legs, whereas your arms coming over helps you with the flexibility of your shoulders. Don't lean to the side because that's what's going to cause you to go off balance. Stay in center using your toes for balance. Breathe out and literally hang. From there you can inhale. And as you exhale, slowly bring your arms down to kind of hang and touch the ground. If you can do that easy, grab your ankles. Not everybody can touch the ground and their feet, so if you can't do that, start here by grabbing your sides and go under your knees. Then grab your shins and your ankles. If you can do that really easily, when you get to that point where you touch the ground, grab behind where your calves are and pull your body to your leg, almost like you're trying to bend in half and breathe out. And the pain may not always be comfortable, but it, sometimes it is necessary. When you get up, don't get up super fast. Breathe out and get up slowly. You want to kind of roll your back up. If you get up right away, you're going to throw your back up. So go slowly. This is stretching. Then once you're here, you're going to go hands together, interlocking your fingers. I'll usually go down, up, past my head. And I'll arch my back a little bit. So I'll be here. Then I'm going to flex down and behind me, like I'm trying to touch my elbows behind my back. I'm going to go down even further, and then I'll roll my shoulders forward, put my hand one on top of the other, I'll push down, I press down with my hands, pull down with my shoulders, I'll lift my chin up, and tilt my head while still pushing down hard, and I'll stretch the sides of my neck out, roll backwards, here, and then to get the back of my neck, put my hands like this on the small of the back of my head. I'll bring my elbows in and I'll pull down a little bit with my hands. I'll pull my head down, but I'll resist a little bit with my head by pushing up with my neck, pulling down with my hands just enough to where I feel the tension. Then you slowly tilt side while still making sure you're pulling down to the ground. Don't break your neck. You're not trying to win a body lifting competition or anything like that. Just kind of just lightly to where you feel the tension, where you feel the stretch, and breathe. And then I get my ankles. So I'll stand here, put my toes like this, slowly push my ankle to the side. And the same thing at the foot here, and then to the side. And that's pretty much my stretch. After that, do warm ups to get your blood flowing, and then you should feel pretty good. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take great care. And stay positive.